Hey guys, what's up? Blacker Bricks here, back with another video for Fun Friday. So before I get into today's video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Stop in the Motion. They are an awesome channel, make all sorts of cool animation videos and some Lego content as well. Definitely check them out. They only have seven subscribers right now. Let's try and make that number at least uh, 25. How about that? Anyways, he recently commented on one of my videos. Do you sell Lego anywhere else? And good job with the sellings. Thank you very much for that. And that actually inspired me to make this video. I wanted to share with you my, I guess, journey as a Lego seller and some of the different platforms I have looked at. So first of all, one platform that you are all I'm all you, I'm sure one platform I'm sure you guys are all aware of is Bricklink. This is a great place to sell parts and uh, pieces in general. This website is great because it has many features that allow you to sell parts very quickly. They have the part out features, the wanted list features, all those things. It makes it very easy for you to buy specific pieces in small quantities. And another great thing about Bricklink is that the fees they charge are only 3% of what you sell, which is great. Unfortunately, sometimes the value for some minifigures and sets is on the lower side. And I guess that's good for buyers, but not the best for sellers. If you want to sell a set or a minifigure, I would definitely suggest eBay. Now, in my experience, I have sold quite a few sets on eBay. I have a couple of minifigures currently there. I have sold quite a few Star Wars sets for a decent price. And I've seen that these instructions have sold quite well on eBay. I sold around 40 of my Cape Cod home in just two months, which was really awesome. And the biggest problem I have with eBay is the fact that they charge 10% of everything you sell. So, for example, if I sold a $100 set, they take away $10 from that. So I end up only getting $90 out of that. And many people that sell on eBay, in the beginning, they don't know about this. And it is kind of tough, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. It's quite a jump from Brooklyn's 3%, which is fairly reasonable. The good thing, I guess, is that sets are far more expensive, right? So let's say, let's say I'm just searching up this Lego Disney Series Two, for example. Um, maybe this isn't the best example. Let me search up a uh, set like the uh, Republic Attack, uh, the gunship. Right, this is a extremely popular set. So let's see if I find the best match. Um, I'm going to try and find a buy it now just because obviously bidding is something else altogether. So here we have the set. It's um, used. And now if I search up the same set on Bricklink, chances are it'll most likely be cheaper. Cheapest one here is 194 and this one's 250 and that's not even considering shipping. It's about 275 once you factor in shipping. You can get the same one in the US for around 209. And I think it's kind of crazy how much more expensive everything is on eBay. Obviously this is better for sellers, but you can you can often get tricked as a buyer very easily. So that's these first two sites bring like an eBay. Now, there obviously are a couple more places you can buy and sell. Um, Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist are two examples of this. I have personally never sold on these two because usually you will find um, bulk lots and used Lego on these sites. If for some reason someone is ever selling a new set, it's going to be pretty expensive. The only good thing about buying locally on these sort of websites is the fact that you don't have to pay for shipping. Now, obviously, I suggest that you guys be safe whenever you're communicating with someone on this sort of website. Don't go there alone. Just make sure you know what you're doing, right? Because you don't want to get in trouble like that. But, I mean, as of now, these are the four websites that I've seen are best for buying and selling Lego. If you guys know of any other great websites where you think you can sell or buy, let me know in the comments section below. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and have a fantastic day.